If you've ever knitted with a hand-painted yarn, you know that the colors pool. If they pool randomly, they create splotches within the knitted fabric. Today, we're going to look at planned pooling in this fabulous project, the Love Cat's Cowl. For this cowl, the designer Carolyn Sommerfeld planned the color pooling to form pale silver stripes within the gray fabric. Hi, I'm Deb Garish, editor of Interweave's Love of Knitting magazine. Let's look at how you can achieve planned color pooling in your own cowl with just a few simple techniques. First, open up the skein and lay it on a flat surface or place it on your swift. You'll want to gather a dozen small safety pins without coils so they don't snag in your yarn, or you can use locking stitch markers like I'm going to do. Find one end of the skein and mark the first dramatic color change. This is where you'll begin casting on. Continue along the same strand of yarn, marking 10 to 12 more transitions with your markers or pins. If your yarn isn't already on the swift, place it there and gently wind the marked yarn end around it. Then loop the other end into the ball winder guide and start winding. You want to knit from the outside of the ball so the markers have to be on the outside. Okay, now you're ready to start knitting and you're ready to start fine tuning your planned color pooled cowl. I'm actually starting from the middle. You're going to have to set up by making a slip knot at the first marker then cast on with tight backward loops. When I started mine, I used the recommended needle size, the size seven, without checking my gauge, because it's far more important for the stripes to form than to match gauge. You will know you have the right tension on your cast on if you use exactly two full repeats of the color, of the color stripes around the skein of yarn and the cast on, remember, needs to be really tight. After you've knit four or five rounds following the pattern, stop and evaluate the color pooling or stacking. If the markers line up perfectly, your colors are stacking properly and they will form stripes. You're set. You can continue knitting without changing anything else. I am not that lucky. On my cowl, the markers aren't lining up. Here's the marker for my first row. Here's the marker for my second row. Here's the marker for my third row. Here's the marker for the fourth row. And the markers are going past each other on successive rounds. My stitches are too small to make the stripes form. If your markers form a staggered line going the other way, you've got the opposite problem. The stitches are too large for the planned pooling to work, and so you'll want to readjust. The next question is, how off is the color stacking? Because that will determine what you do next. If your markers are way off by five or more stitches, adjust needle sizes. My stitches are too small, I could go up a needle size if my markers were further off. If your stitches are too big, go down a needle size. If the problem is not that drastic, markers are off by fewer than five stitches, you can adjust the tension instead of changing needle sizes. And there are two ways to do this. You could rip back 20 stitches or so and re-knit, working more tightly if your stitches are too big or more loosely if they're too small. But my preferred way is to use a tapestry needle to adjust some of the stitches. So my problem, as we said, is that I've knit up to my next marker, but my stitches are too small. So what I'm going to do to adjust is I'm going to pull out my first stitch so that I get a great big loop of yarn with my tapestry needle. And then I'm going to adjust the stitches behind it just a little bit on each one, loosening them up. Notice how as I, as I pull the yarn through, I'm not tightening the stitch on the needle. I'm letting it be just a little bit loose. And if I keep doing this for an inch, two inches, three inches at the most, I will eventually reach a place where all this excess yarn that I'm playing with, with the tapestry needle, just gets used up. If you've got stitches that are too big, you're going to do the same thing going in the other direction. So you'd pull up a great big loop so that your marker starts right above the other markers, and then you would just 
monkey with it the same way. And you're going to have colors that stack properly into stripes. I want to close with a note about how much to fuss over your color stacking, or rather, how much not to fuss. The yarn and this cowl were inspired by a cat, specifically my cat, Ursula. There's a lot of fuzziness in animal stripes, especially on Ursula. And so I decided early on, working on my cowl, that I was not going to obsess about perfectly aligned stripes. So the fact that there's fuzzy striping here is perfect. I'm not gonna rip out and start over with a bigger needle. I am going to tweak the tension as I work so that the stripes line up better, but I'm not gonna do this for every single round. In other words, when you're knitting the Love Cats cowl, fuzzy is just fine. Thank you for joining me today, and have fun exploring planned color pooling.